Arctic explorer, author, adventurer, movie star, millionaire, journalist, anthropologist, Nazi fighter. Just one of those titles would be enough for any one person's lifetime. But yet Peter Froken was all those things and more. Born in Denmark in 1886, Froken's father was a businessman and only wanted a stable life for his son. So he enrolled at the University of Copenhagen in order to study medicine. But Peter quickly learned that this life wasn't for him. He didn't crave order and stability like his father, but exploration and danger. So in 1906, when Peter was only 20 years old, he set out with his friend and sailed north to the Arctic wilderness of Greenland North Pole. After they had sailed as far as they possibly could, they brought the dog sleds and traveled another 600 miles into the wild. Along the way, they met and traded the Inuit people, learned the language, and went on badass hunting expeditions with them. They hunted walruses, wolves, whales, seals, and even polar bears which Fruken was uniquely qualified for, because then he towered over everyone at 6'7". He even wrestled one of the bears by hand and made a coat out of it. While Peter went on expeditions to other far-off lands like Siberia and South Africa, Greenland always held a special place in his heart. So in 1910, he co-founded a trading post in Cape York, Greenland, which was base camp for seven different expeditions into the Arctic, known as the Thole Expeditions. It was during this time where we get to talk about Fruchin's famous ice cave escape. Yes, I'm talking about the poop knife. On a 620 mile expedition across Greenland, the crew got caught in a devastating blizzard. After first attempting to take cover under dog sled, Fruchin ultimately found himself completely buried in snow that was quickly turning into ice. In fact, the ice was packing in so tight around him that his beard literally froze to the ice. After 30 hours of trying to claw and punch his way out, Peter ended up chiseling through the ice wall of a shiv that created of his own feces. He then crawled three hours back to base camp revenant style, took off his socks, saw his toes had gangrene, so he amputated his toes by himself a pair of pliers and a hammer, without anesthesia. After years of living up in the wilderness, Fruken returned back to Denmark in 1920, and started work on the first of his nearly 30 books that he wrote for his career as a best-selling author. In 1924, he settled down and married a freaking multi-millionaire and heiress whose parents ran the most successful butter company in all of Denmark. In fact, her parents liked Fruken so much that they founded a magazine and made Peter the editor-in-chief, with the magazine actually still being in circulation today. But don't go think that old Fruken went soft on us during this time just because he was a multi-millionaire best-selling author lived in his own massive private island, which he totally did. But during this time, Peter kept on taking trips up north and making badass expeditions in the Arctic wild. In 1933, one of Fruken's books about an Inuit warrior was turned into a movie. The movie that Fruken wrote the story for, translated the dialogue, was an interpreter on set, helped the film's crew survive in the wild, and even played the movie's villain. He even went on to win an Academy Award, though it was the Oscar for Best Film Editing, which isn't something that Fruken had a part in. Anyways, moving on. We're now in World War II, and Peter Fruken found himself in the center of some political drama. You see, the big man never tolerated discrimination of any kind, so whenever he heard someone express anti-Semitic views, he go up to them and in all of his six, seven glory, would claim to be Jewish. This was in Nazi-occupied Denmark. He was also actively involved with the Danish resistance, was so outspokenly anti-Nazi that Hitler himself considered him to be a threat. So Fruken was arrested in France and sentenced to death, but ultimately escaped the Nazis and fled to Sweden, and eventually ended up in New York City. There he joined the New York Explorers Club, shared the stories of anyone who would listen, wrote the majority of his best sellers, and decided to settle into the quiet life, or at least quiet for him. But just when you think he had faded in obscurity, he was guest on the $64,000 question, similar to who wants to be a millionaire, and won the jackpot with the seven C's category. He was the fifth person to ever win the show. So let's recap. Arctic explorer, adventurer, anthropologist, author, journalist, movie star, millionaire, Nazi fighter, and game show winner to top it all off. The Dos Equis guy doesn't have anything on Peter Fruken. 
So there you have it, the most interesting man who ever lived. Now be sure, hit that like button, the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and I will see you all next time.